Hey guys, it's Eva and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to get into the uh, festive vibes. Is it vibes? The holiday spirit. Jesus, I have to say vibes. This is how much the internet has changed me. Anyway, I wanted to get into the holiday spirit since everyone's already starting to dress up as Santa Clauses and elves. Like New York does not play when it comes to Christmas. Like my first Christmas here, which was last year, was actually the most magical Christmas time I've ever experienced. My parents came here from all the way from Japan and we spent our Christmas here and it's beautiful. I mean, Christmas in New York. So today I wanted to get into the whole holiday spirit. As you can tell, my nails are festive. As you can also probably see, I put um, little Christmas decorations on my flower wall because I'm that extra. Today, I wanted to do a little makeup tutorial for my typical holiday glam. So my holiday glam is basically my everyday makeup, but a little more glittery as you know. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm not like an, a makeup artist. I'm not really sure about the whole terminology, but I will be as clear as I possibly can be. There's no right or wrong way to do makeup. If you wanna put lipstick on your eyelids, then you go ahead, baby girl or baby boy. You put whatever you want on your face because it is your face, honey, and it is beautiful. Don't let anyone tell you how you should do your makeup. Unless, of course, you have some tips. Then I'd love to learn new tips because I'm, you know, definitely not a makeup artist. Also, anything that I will show you today, I have learned from my makeup queen, Nikki Tutorials. Thank you, Nikki Tutorials, for everything that you have taught me because without you, honey, I would be walking around like a little gremlin. If you guys haven't seen her videos, I suggest you guys go look it up. So yeah, we're gonna um, get into the whole holiday look. Let's get started. All right. <coughs> I was too excited there. So I already put on some toner and some moisturizers. So the next thing that we have to do is prime. And I will be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. That's French. And this is what it looks like. Oh, I love this thing because it just like primes your face so perfectly. Once it dries a little bit, it feels a bit tacky on your skin. And that's the perfect way to start putting your foundation on. Okay, so next thing is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. And my color is 210. And I love, love, love this product. Riri, if you're watching this, I miss your music, but you have changed the makeup game, honey. I'm just gonna blend it up with my Milk Makeup Silicone Blender. And yes, it's clean. I've had this for a while now. It smells, it smells incredible. I don't know what it smells like, but it kind of smells like, you know when you're baking, not, not powder baking, not like makeup baking, but when you're actually like baking, baking, you know when you mix like brown sugar with vanilla extract, that smell, this foundation, I feel like it smells like that. Oh, look at this, the coverage. It literally goes onto your skin like silk. Cover me up. All right, so now that we look like a ghost or an egg, we're going to go in with the concealer and look even more like a ghost. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer, and this is also in 210. Honestly, I love this concealer. I use this on a daily basis, and I wish it came in like bigger bottles because it's honestly the love of my life. All is well if it blends well. So if you need to take your time blending, honey, take your time blending. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set our beautiful makeup with the Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder by Too Faced. This is actually um, a sample size. I got it from my Sephora like 500 point thing because I have so many points. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna take some. I'm just right underneath the eyelids. Oh. Oh my god, that's so sweet! 
I know that's gross. I'm so sorry. It tastes like powdered sugar. Oh, I can't. It tastes so good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my brows and then I'm going to do one of my eyes just to save some time. And so you can see the end result. And what I'm going to use for my eyebrows are the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown. I'm also going to use their brush. Um, I'm not quite sure which number it is, but I will put it in the description below. So the last thing I'm going to use on my brows is the Glossier Boy Brow in black. And then I'm just going to um, shape them with some concealer and I'll be right back. All right, so now that I have my eyebrows done and one of my eyes done, this is what it's going to look like. We're gonna get into the other eye and I'm going to show you guys what I did. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay. I love this thing. I've been using this for a very long time and this is like a travel size and it's lasts me for forever. We're just gonna put that on the eyelids and blend that out and then we're gonna go in with the eyeshadows. All right, so now that we have our eyelid primed, I'm gonna go in with the, you guys are gonna laugh at me for this. I have been using this palette almost every single day for like three years. She's a little run down, but <laughs> we're going to be using the Tarte, Tarte Lead Toasted Palette. I just love the colors in this. I have not found any eyeshadow palettes that have like these colors. So first things first, we're gonna go in with this color. That's Latte. We're just going to use a Typical blending brush. It says blending. Tap it away a little bit. And we're just going to go in from your outer corner, define your crease, and then into your inner corner. So now that we have that, we're just gonna blend it in with another blending brush that has no color on it, just to make sure that it's nicely blended. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the color Warmth and we're going to use the same blending brush only because I don't have that many blending brushes. So with this color, you wanna go into the same places that you went to with the other one just to warm it up a little bit. All right, so the next color we're going to go into is the color Cozy. And as you can tell, I've been using it quite a lot too. And we're gonna go in with just a normal blending brush again. I can't really read what it says on here anymore because I've used it so many times, but it's just a typical blending brush. We're going to sort of get it to your outer corner and into your crease, but not further than halfway through your eyelids. So we're gonna go back in with the blending brush. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the same color, Cozy, and we're going to use, I don't know what this kind of brush is called, but a angled brush. We're going to just tap it in and apply it to the lower lash line. So the next color we're going to get into is the color Fireside. We're going to go in with a very teeny tiny brush. I don't know what it's called. So with this one, we're really just going to go into your upper lash line and make it act like an eyeliner and wing it out, but we're gonna blend it out too. So we're gonna go back into the same color with the same brush and we're just gonna add a little bit to the lower lash line, but only to the halfway through point. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna go back in with the eyeshadow primer and we're going to use the same brush that I use for concealing. And we're just gonna go in on my eyelids so that I can put my glittery eyeshadow with no problem. The next color we're going to go into is the color Candle. And we're just going to apply that to my eyelids with this Luxie 239 Precision Shader. All right, so now that we have a nice little shimmer going on on our eyelids, we're going to go in with the Tarte in Sun Drenched, and it's a chrome paint shadow pot. And so the color looks like this. And we're going to use the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette brush. We're just gonna use the top part. I suggest spritzing it with a little bit of toner or setting spray, any kind of spray honestly works. It just picks it up instantly. Now we're going to use this color and kind of dab it on to the middle part of your eyelids. This is basically what it looks like right now. 
clean up the fallout. I have used this eyeliner since I was in middle school and it's the only eyeliner I can put on properly. And this is from Japan, but it's Maybelline and it's called the Hyper Sharp Liner. It looks like this. All right, so now that the eyeshadow is done, we're gonna go into contouring the face because your girl needs some contouring. I look a bit flat right now. So for bronzing, I use Laura Messier and it's in the color Candle Glow and it has the number five on it and it's the Sheer Perfecting Powder. The inside looks like this. I love how it just has like a little bit of shimmer and it makes you glow. So for the brush, I'm going to use this. I love big brushes. I love big brushes and I cannot lie. We're not gonna do that. But I love big brushes because they kind of just get the job done quickly and especially with bronzing, I don't know, I feel like I just wanna just sweep and it's there, you know? This is a Sephora brush as you can see here and it is the Pro Featherweight Powder 91. So we're just gonna, you know, bronze the places that you're supposed to bronze. All right, so now that we have the bronzing done, we're gonna go in with some blush and I use the NARS in color orgasm. I know, <laughs> looks like this. And we're gonna go in with the Luxie 514 blush brush. And we're just gonna apply it to the apples of our cheeks. All right, so the next thing we're going to use is some highlighter. I want to shine and glitter like the Christmas lights. I want to be as bright as the fireworks when the clock hits 12 on 2020. And I want to continue glowing until the end of 2020. I am the fireworks. So for highlight, we're going to go in with the Ofra Madison Miller. I mean, look. And we're gonna go in with the Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. So I guess this is for foundation, but we're just gonna use this for highlight. Oh, am I glowing or what? I want the moon to be able to see me. Now we're gonna just add a little bit of highlight on the nose tip and the eye corners. Now that that's done, we're just gonna highlight the brow bone. All right, so the last thing that we're going to go into are the falsies. And today I'm going to be using On Point Lash Falsies. By the way, this brand was established by an eight-year-old girl called Soleil Breeze. And I saw her story at the Envision Fest and I met her actually in person. She's so cute. And her lashes are literally on point. And you can get this big box for um, literally only 20 bucks and you get three different lashes. And today I'm gonna go in with the rosy because I just love how rosy looks. All right, so now the lashes are on, we're gonna go in with the eyeliner a little bit and fill out the little gaps. So I know I keep saying the last thing, the last thing, but the actual last thing that we're gonna go into is some red lipstick. And this is the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish by Physicians Formula in the color Fight Free Radicals. Like radicals, but red -icles. Oh, I forgot one thing. Okay, so I forgot to um, highlight the Cupid's bow. Now we're gonna go in with the lipstick. Alright you guys, so this is basically my holiday glam look. I usually wear this sometimes without falsies, sometimes without the red lips, just depending on my mood and you can change it up yourself as well, whatever works best for you. I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like full on. This is the type of look that I wear basically for like Christmas or New Year's or any other holiday events in between. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what kind of looks you would like me to do next. I don't know where the subscribe button is, but subscribe to my channel. All right, I will see you guys next year. I love you guys. Have a wonderful holiday. I wanna see you guys in 2020, in the next decade. So until then, I love you guys. Stay magical. Eva Jensen is out.